Terrell Tilford likes strolling the streets around his art gallery, Band of Vices. As Wes Adams rapidly changes, walking lets him check in on his neighbors. He will exchange waves with the guys at Tag Collision, the auto body shop across the street, or rap for a while with the staff at Delicious Pizza One Block Over. He'll hit up V's Cafe for its breakfast burritos and browse the selection at Adam's Wine Shop. Last month, Tilford, 52, was headed back from a quick stroll for milk when he stopped dead in his tracks. On one side of Band of Vice's bright pink building, someone had spray-painted, in big black letters, what's all this white people s? The paint hadn't even dried yet. Seen by some activists as vanguards of encroaching gentrification. Art galleries in recent years have become polarizing institutions in working class neighborhoods from South L. A. to the East Side. I just couldn't believe it, Tilford said. It felt like an immediate assault. Even more so because, for years, his gallery had featured the work of local artists of color. And then there was the unavoidable irony in the accusation painted on the wall. Tilford not only grew up in West Adams, but he is a black man. In West Adams, many residents have a story of a favorite business replaced or a loved one who was pushed out to the Inland Empire or Texas. They wonder when it will be their turn. Shocked by the vandalism, Tilford walked into his gallery and sat for a moment, gathering his thoughts. I just tried to process it. I was really trying to just tap into the psychology of whoever it could be, he said. I can't tell you if it was a white person black person, or a brown person because everybody has a different relationship to what's happening in the neighborhood. And we are all participants in some level of it. In recent years, trendy eateries and shops have opened along West Adams Boulevard. Band of Vices sits on a block with Alga, a swanky Cali soul food restaurant, and Adams Wine Shop, both of which opened in 2018. Delicious Pizza arrived in 2015 and four years later, in 2019, saw the arrival of Mizlala, a Mediterranean grill.